The procession will pass the old Parliament House, where Mr Lee was the longest-serving member of Parliament, having represented Tanjong Paga since 1955. As the casket makes its way past City Hall and around the Padang, Defence Minister Ng Eng Hen said there will be a 21-gun salute fired by four ceremonial 25-pounder guns. Four Black Knights from the RSAF will also salute Mr Lee with a missing man formation, where one plane breaks off out of the formation. As the casket crosses the Esplanade Bridge, naval vessels, the RSS Dauntless and RSS Resilience, will conduct a ceremonial sail pass of the Marina Barrage. Moving on from the Civic District, the procession will wind through commercial areas as a tribute to Mr Lee's contribution to Singapore's economic development. They include Fullerton Road, Collier Quay, Raffles Quay, Shenton Way and Keppel Road. The casket will pass landmarks like Fullerton Square, where Mr Lee had held numerous lunchtime rallies, as well as the NTUC Centre and Trade Union House. Mr Lee began his political life by representing workers and trade union as a young legal assistant. Thereafter, the procession will weave through the heartlands and what was Mr Lee's constituency, starting from Canterman Road, where Pinnacle at Duxton, Singapore's tallest public housing project, is located. It will also pass Bukit Merah and Queenstown, which are among the oldest public housing estates in the country. Mr Lee had been instrumental in shaping public housing policy in Singapore. From the start, I wanted to build a home-owning society. My intention was that everybody should be a homeowner and have a stake in Singapore. The Housing and Development Board was set up in 1960 to provide affordable housing for the masses. And today, over 80% of the population live in public housing, with the majority of them owning their homes. Also along the funeral route, the Office of the Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau, some 200 CPIB officers and their family and friends are expected to gather to bid a final farewell to Mr Lee. He had been a firm believer in good governance and a clean government, and the CPIB was set up to stamp out corruption and bribery. On the way to the UCC, the casket will also pass many schools, including Singapore Polytechnic, the oldest polytechnic in Singapore, having been set up in 1954. Mr Lee had placed a special emphasis on education, driving the bilingual policy which helped to preserve Singaporeans' cultural identity. He also upheld the principles of meritocracy. The procession will end at UCC, where a funeral service will be held.